सदाशिवसमारंभा शंकराचार्यमध्यमा अस्मदाचार्यपर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा ओ सुखम नित्यम स्वप्रकाशम व्यापक नाम अधिष्ठान बुद्ध्यबोध्यम बुद्धिर्दृग्यू निर्मल अपारम सर्वेदेद्यम कृत्यपर तदेवाह न मोन्दी मे निश्चिता मति विचार सागर फोर्थ चैप्टर पेज 126 सैंस्क्रिट वर्षन सेकेंड पैराग्राफ फर्स्ट लाइन इतरेशा जीवा देहे अहम इत्यात्म भ्रांतिरस्ती रामकृष्णादीना तो न सा भ्रांतिरस्ती तत्वदृष्टि दी उत्तम अधिकारी टॉकिंग अबाउट द जीवस्वरूप एंड ईश्वर स्वरूप एस्पेली अबाउट द बॉडी ऑफ ईश्वर एंड द जीवास ईश्वर अवतार शरीर एंड जीव शरीर physical body especially what are the differences that we are seeing from the last class the difference first one is um, jeevas are born out of karma their own punya papa karmas jeevas take their physical body whereas ishvara is not taken avatar shariram not because of any karma or punya papa karma that avatar is because of the jeevas wish or desire they want bhagavan to come and protect therefore ishvara comes as an avatar in fourth chapter we saw that avatar swarupam lakshanam and how the two persons are in the well parmarthananda swami ji gives one example two persons are in the well one person descend to protect the other person who has fallen in the well the one who has fallen in the well is like a jeeva and the one who has descended in the well that well is not a samsara for him that ishvara for that person it is a, a leela sportively he protects that other person because he has descended to protect this person like that here ishvara also descended avatara means avatarati having come to this body maika shariram and he protects tarati means he helps to cross over the jeevas from the samsara so this is the first difference we saw the next difference also we completed jeeva shariram's are made out of pan pancha bhutas five elements five elements akasha vayu agni apaha prithvi <coughs> all these five elements are the cause for the arrival of jeeva shariram physical body whereas ishvara shariram avatara shariram is not pancha bhautikam 
but it is uh, out of maya mayika shariram out of his own maya he appears in that form with hands legs head eyes etc so therefore these are the two differences visa now tatva drishti is going to give the third difference tatva drishti means nischala dasa nischala dasa is giving that third difference is avatara shariram there is no ahankara mamakara abhimana whereas jeevas are having aham and mama that thought will be there ahankara and mamakara will be there in the jeeva that bhramti will be there that is what we are seeing itareshaam jeevanam dehe itareshaam the jeevas which are born out of panchabhutas and which are born out of their karma aham iti atma bhramti rasti i am atma bhramti means this body is myself this mind is myself that bhramti is there aham iti means ahankara mamakara non i am and it is mine this is mine i am this is mine ahankara ainess and mindness both are there in the jeeva's case whereas with regard to ishvara the lord rama and lord krishna adi naam any other avatara to to differentiate from the jeeva shariram to vailakshanya dyotanartham nasa bhramti rasti there is no such delusion sa bhranti means ahankara mamakara is not there where in ishvara there is no such ahankara and mamakara now the following portion how ishvara is free from that abhimana what is the reason and how the jeevas are having that abhimana what is the reason that is presented in the following portion we will see very interesting jeevasyopadhi bhuta avidya malina sattva yukta ha malina sattva yukta ram krishna dinam upadhi bhuta maya tu शुद्ध सत्वूता तस्मा जीवस्या विद्या कार्यभूता भ्रांति रामकृष्णादेर्माया कार्यभूता सर्वज्ञास्ती जीवस्य ज्ञानमयु ज्ञान प्रयुक्ता आवरण भ्रांति भ्रांतो निवृत्त आचार्य मुखा महावाक्योपदेशमेक्षितमकृष्णादेर्वाण भ्रांतो अभाव उपदेशजन्यज्ञान न अपेक्षित तथा जीवस्यांतकृत्तिपज्ञानमश्वर से माया वृत्ति मयावृत्तिपात्मक ज्ञान अपे उपदेश विना जायते किंतु तेन ज्ञानेन किंचिदपि प्रयोजनम् प्रयोजन सिद्ध्यति ईश्वर ईस सत्व प्रधान एंड जीवा ईस मलिन सत्व Malina Sattvam represents Avidya and Maya is Shuddha Sattvam. Look into the portion. Jeevasya Upadhi Bhuta. Jeevas, their Upadhi is what? Avidya. What type of Avidya? Ignorance. Malina Sattva Yukta. 
that avidya which is uh, because of marina sattvam impurity or tamah pradhanam tamah pradhana sattva means yukta marina sattvam marina gunam or rajasat tamo gunam yukta associated with whereas ramakrishna dinam upadhi bhuta what is the upadhi of rama lord rama and lord krishna their upadhi their medium their avatar shariram is associated with or made out of maya shuddha sattva yuta yuta means endowed with shuddha sattvam maya shuddha sattvam is the cause for the ishwaras upadhi and jivas marina sattvam is the cause for the avidya marina sattvam is equal to avidya avidya is equal to upadhi of jiva shariram and maya to shuddha sattvam pure that is why ishvara the lord rama and krishna are their upadhis are having shuddha sattvam so what if sattvam marina sattvam rajas sattvam or shuddha sattvam what are the consequences what is their nature of marina sattvam and shuddha sattvam jeevasya agnana jeevasya agnana prayukta avarana bhramtyo because of malina sattvam is the upadhi avidya of jeeva is the cause for upadhi it has got avarana and bhramti veiling power and deluding power vikshepa sakti avarana bhramti means vikshepa avarana means concealment jeevas are having concealing concealing concealed they are concealed by avidya and bhranti vikshepa avarana and vikshepa for that removal they need teacher mahavakya etc acharya mukhat from acharya they have to listen mahavakyo padesh janya gnanam apekshitam they need apekshitam means they need they require it is necessary for jeevas what to remove that avarana to remove that bhramti which is because of avidya for jeevas they require the guru that guru also who is teaching mahavakya upadesha because of that mahavakya upadesh janya gnanam that is required for them the knowledge of arise out of mahavakya taught by the guru that is the meaning acharya mukhat directly from the guru's mouth he has to teach mahavakya upadesha means teaching for many years um, upadesha janya gnanam that knowledge born out of uh, upadesha teaching then uh, that jeeva does shravanam because of that shravanam this uh, jeevas conceal avaranam and bhranti both will go away whereas lord rama and krishna rama krishna dehe avarana bhrantyo abhavena since lord rama and lord krishna they don't have what avarana concealment and bhranti aham mama iti bhranti nasti bhrantyoho nivruttaye for the removal of avarana and vikshepa for ishvara there is no necessity of upadesha janya gnanam na apekshitam then why krishna went to sandipani lord rama studied under vashishtha only to be an exemplaries for people jeevas not that they want to remove their ignorance sarvagnya bhagavan upadesha janya gnanam na apekshitam there is no need of mahavakya upadesha from the guru 
ಟು ಭಗವಾನ್ ಈಶ್ವರ ತಥಾಪಿ ಈವೆನ್ ದೆನ್ ಜೀವಸ್ಯ ಅಂತಃಕರಣ ವೃತ್ತಿರೂಪ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಈಶ್ವರ ಮಾಯಾವೃತ್ತಿ ರೂಪ ಆತ್ಮಜ್ಞಾನ ಉಪದೇಶ ವಿನಾಯತೆ ಪರ್ ಜೀವ ಹೌ ಆತ್ಮಜ್ಞಾನ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಟು ಎಕ್ಸ್ ತಥಾಪಿ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಟು ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನ್ ಫರ್ದರ್ ಜೀವ ಜೀವಸ್ಯ ಅಂತಃಕರಣ ವೃತ್ತಿ ರೂಪ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಸೊ ಜೀವ ರಿಕ್ವಯರ್ಡ್ ನಾಲೆಡ್ಜ್ ಹೌ ದಟ್ ನಾಲೆಡ್ಜ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಥ್ರೂ ವೃತ್ತಿ ಥ್ರೂ ಥಾಟ್ ವೇರ್ ದಟ್ ಥಾಟ್ ಅರೈಸ್ ಇನ್ ಅಂತಃಕರಣ ಇನ್ ಹೂಸ್ ಅಂತಃಕರಣ ಜೀವಸ್ಯ ದ ಇಂಡಿವಿಜುವಲ್ ಜೀವಸ್ಯ ಅಂತಃಕರಣ ವೃತ್ತಿ ರೂಪ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಬಟ್ ಈಶ್ವರ ಮಾಯಾವೃತ್ತಿ ರೂಪಾತ್ಮಕ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಉಪದೇಶ ವಿನಾಯ ಸಿನ್ಸ್ ಈಶ್ವರ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಗಾಟ್ ಮಾಯಾವೃತ್ತಿ ಜೀವ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಗಾಟ್ ಅವಿದ್ಯಾವೃತ್ತಿ ದಟ್ ಅಂತಃಕರಣ ವೃತ್ತಿ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಕಮ್ ಅಹಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಅಸ್ಮಿ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಟು ರೈಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಈಶ್ವರ ದೇರ್ ಈಸ್ ಮಾಯಾವೃತ್ತಿ ಮಾಯಾವೃತ್ತಿ ಈಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಬಟ್ ದಟ್ ಮಾಯಾವೃತ್ತಿ ಡಸಂಟ್ ರಿಕ್ವೈರ್ಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಿನಾ ಏವ ವಿತೌಟ್ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ಉಪದೇಶ ಆತ್ಮಜ್ಞಾನ ಉಪದೇಶ ಬೈ ದ ಟೀಚರ್ ವಿತೌಟ್ ದಿ ಉಪದೇಶ ದ ಟೀಚಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ನಾಲೆಡ್ಜ್ ವಿತೌಟ್ ದಟ್ ಆತ್ಮಜ್ಞಾನ ಉಪದೇಶ ವಿನಾ ಏವ ಜಾಯತೆ ದಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ನಾಲೆಡ್ಜ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ದೇರ್ ಇನ್ ಭಗವಾನ್ ವಿತೌಟ್ ಟೀಚರ್ಸ್ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಡಿಫರೆನ್ಸ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಜೀವ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಈಶ್ವರ ಕಿಂತು ನ ತೇನ ಜ್ಞಾನೇನ ಕಿಂಚಿದಿ ಪ್ರಯೋಜನ ಈಶ್ವರ ಸಿದ್ಧತೆ ಕಿಂತು ಬಟ್ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಗೆಟ್ಸ್ ನಾಲೆಡ್ಜ್ ಸಪೋಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಪ್ರಯೋಜನ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ನಾಲೆಡ್ಜ್ ನ ತೇನ ಜ್ಞಾನೇನ ತೇನ ಜ್ಞಾನೇನ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಮಾಯಾವೃತ್ತಿ ಜ್ಞಾನೇನ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮಾಯಾವೃತ್ತಿ ದಟ್ ಜ್ಞಾನ ರೈಜ್ ಸಪೋಸ್ ಕಿಂಚಿದಿ ಪ್ರಯೋಜನ ನಾಸ್ತಿ ಪರ್ ಭಗವಾನ್ ದೆರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಎನಿ ಬೆನಿಫಿಟ್ ವೈ ದೆರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಬೆನಿಫಿಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ವೈಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಸರ್ವಜ್ಞ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಎ ಜ್ಞಾನಿ ದೇರ್ ಫಾರ್ ತೇನ ಜ್ಞಾನೇನ ಮಾಯಾವೃತ್ತಿ ತೇನ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಮಾಯಾವೃತ್ತಿ ಜ್ಞಾನೇನ ಕಿಂಚಿದಿ ಪ್ರಯೋಜನ ಈಶ್ವರ ಈಶ್ವರ ಇಸ್ ಬಹುವಚನ ಹಿಯರ್ ಬಹುವಚನ ಪ್ಲೂರಲ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಈಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೆನಿ ಅವತಾರಸ್ ದೇರ್ ರಾಮ ಅವತಾರ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಅವತಾರ ಪರಶುರಾಮ ಅವತಾರ ಸೋ ಮೆನಿ ಅವತಾರ ಆರ್ ದೇರ್ ದೇರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಬಹುವಚನ ಇಸ್ ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಈಶ್ವರ ಸಿದ್ಧತೆ ಪ್ರಯೋಜನ ನ ಸಿದ್ಧತೆ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಎನಿ ಪ್ರಯೋಜನ ಬೆನಿಫಿಟ್ ಔಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ ಮಾಯಾ ವೃತ್ತಿ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಟೇಕ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಇನ್ ಈಶ್ವರ ಬಟ್ ದಟ್ ವೃತ್ತಿ ಮಾಯಾವೃತ್ತಿ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ವೆನಿ ಯೂಸ್ಫುಲ್ ವಿ ಮೇ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಹೌ ರಾಮ ಕ್ರೈಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ಸೀತಾ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹೌ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಅಂಡರ್ ವೆಂಟ್ ಸೋ ಮೆನಿ ಪೇನ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಈಸ್ ಒನ್ ನೈಸ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಭಗವಾನ್ಸ್ ಡ್ಯೂಟಿ ಓನ್ಲಿ ನಾಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಪ್ರೊಟೆಕ್ಷನ್ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಮೆನಿ ಡ್ಯೂಟೀಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಹಿ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಇಮಿಟೇಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ಬೀಯಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಸಮಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಮರ್ತ್ಯಾವತಾರ ಖಲು ಮರ್ತ್ಯ ಶಿಕ್ಷಣ ಸೊ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಮರ್ತ್ಯ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಟೇಕ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಮರ್ತ್ಯ ಶಿಕ್ಷಣ ಟು ಕಿಲ್ ರಾವಣ ಟು ಕಿಲ್ ಕಂಸ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ ದುಷ್ಟ ಜನಸ್ ಟು ಕಿಲ್ ದಮ್ ಮರ್ತ್ಯ ಶಿಕ್ಷಣ ರಕ್ಷೋವಧಾ ನಖ ಕೇವಲ ವಿಭೋ ಕೇ ವಿಭೋ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಅವತಾರ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಫಾರ್ ರಕ್ಷಣ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಫಾರ್ ಪ್ರೊಟೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಈವಿಲ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಪ್ರೊಟೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ನೋಬಲ್ ಪೀಪ
Rama is reveling. Rama itself, the meaning, Ramate, Ramayati, iti Ramaha. So, Rakshasa Vadha alone is not the purpose of Avatara. But, uh, Sita Vyasanani Ishwarasya Kutaha. Really speaking, how Lord Rama can have that? Vyasana means here, love crying for him, Sita really, how they can be there? It is only a Leela. It is only a sport. It is only a Leela or sport. That sloka tells Sita Vyasanani Ishwarasya Kutaha. How they can be there? Only it is Leela. So this is the third difference. What is the difference? Third one, Malina Sattva Pradhana Jiva Shriram. Shuddha Sattva Pradhana Ishvara Shriram. Avidya Pradhana Malina Sattva Jiva Shriram. Maya Shuddha Sattva Pradhana Ishvara Shriram. Therefore, Ishvara doesn't require the removal of Avarana and Vikshepa because both are not there in Ishvara. Whereas Jiva need the Guru because Jivas are having Avarana and Vikshepa. That is the meaning. Now, next paragraph. Further explanation. Tathahi Jivasya Ghatta Dignani Nam Avarana Bhango Ghatta Dirupa Vishayasya Prakashasthethi Phalam Siddhyati Jeevasya aham brahma iti brahma karatma gnano daetu tadrusha gnana vishai bhutasya atmanaha avarana bhanga matram gnani na janyate atma rupa vishayastu swayameva prakashate tasmad atma gnani na vishayaha na prakashate <coughs> this is also very important portion you know, which we saw in Panchadashi where uh, Vritti Jnanam is um, enough Phala Vyapti is not required Vritti Vyapti alone is sufficient <coughs> even for Jeevas also Ishwara doesn't require any Vritti Vyapti and Phala Vyapti Tathahi to explain further Jeevasya for Jeevas the twofold results with regard to Ajnana Jeevas twofold result with regard to Ajnana um, with regard to Jeevas Atma Ajnana what are the twofold results benefits Jeevasya Ghatadi Gnanena. So he gives first um, pot knowledge. Um, worldly example. Pot knowledge Gnanena Avarana Bhangaha. So once I know this is pot, first veiling, concealment of pot will go away. Avarana Bhangaha. Then what? Ghatadi Rupa Vishayasya Prakashasya. Phalam Siddhyati. Once uh, that part concealment goes away, I can get the knowledge of part revelation. Part is known. Part, when the part concealment has gone, cover has gone, avarana has gone, then first avarana removal, then ghatta revelation. Part I know. I know part. Pot Ajnanam has gone. Iti phalam siddhyati. With regard to um, ghatta, there is um, uh, arthadhyasa and uh, jnana adhyasa. Thula vidya and mula vidya. When you talk about the knowledge about other objects, uh, that is called thula vidya. Ignorance about uh, worldly objects you talk about, that is called Thula Vidya. That Thula Vidya goes away. Jeevasya uh, Aham Brahma. Now with regard to Aham Brahma, what is the difference? Iti 
ब्रह्माकारात्मज्ञानोदय ब्रह्माकार आत्मज्ञान उदये तो वेन आत्मज्ञान अरइज हाउ इट अरइज ब्रह्माकार अहम ब्रह्मास्मी अहम ब्रह्मा इति ब्रह्माकार वृत्ति आई एम ब्रह्मन सो वंस आवरण गोस वे बिकॉज ऑफ गुरुस टीचिंग दैट स्टूडेंट रिकॉग्नाइज दैट आई एम ब्रह्मन अहम ब्रह्मा इति दस विद इन इन्वर्टेड कामास अहम ब्रह्मा आई एम ब्रह्मन सो हाउ दिस आत्मज्ञान ब्रह्मज्ञान कम्स ब्रह्माकार आत्मज्ञान उदये तो वेन ब्रह्माकार आकार मीन्स नाट रियली आकार इन द फॉर्म ऑफ अहम ब्रह्मा इति वृत्ति ज्ञान उदये वंस द नॉलेज राइज तादृश ज्ञान विषय भूत भूत से आत्मन वाट इज द विषय ऑफ दट अहम ब्रह्म ज्ञान तादृश ज्ञान से ज्ञान विषयीभूत विषयीभूत से आत्मन वाट इज द विषय ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ दिस नॉलेज ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ दिस नॉलेज इज आत्म आत्मन आवरण भंग ज्ञान जनते वेलिंग कंसीलमेंट ओनली रिमूव आत्मा इज नॉट इल्यूमिंड बै दि ब्रह्माकार वृत्ति बिकॉज द रीजन हि गिवस आवरण भंग ओनली द रिमूवल ऑफ कंसीलमेंट ज्ञान जनते बै आत्मज्ञान इट ईज बॉन् इट ईज रिजन ए रिजन बट आत्मो विषय तो दट आत्म विषय तो आत्म विषय दट आत्मा हुच ईज द ऑबजेक्ट ऑफ नॉलेज स्वयम प्रकाशते इट ईज सेलफ रिवील आर् सेलफ एविडेंट बिकॉज दट आत्मा हैपन टू बी मै सेलफ इट नीड नाट बी रिवील देर फोर आवरण निवृत्ति ओनली हैपन फल व्याप्ति इज नाट रिक्वर्ड विषय इज नीड नाट बी रिवील आत्मा नीड नाट बी रिवील बिकॉज इट ईज सेलफ ल्यूमिन आत्मूप विषय तो स्वयम प्रकाश है बै इट सेलफ इट रिवी इट रिवील बै इट सेलफ तस्मा देर फोर आत्मज्ञानी विषय न प्रकाशते फल व्याप्ति वोट बी दे आत्मज्ञान बै दि सेलफ नॉलेज विषय मीन ब्रह्म न प्रकाशते ब्रह्म नीड नाट बी इल्यूमिंड ब्रह्म नीड नाट बी इल्यूमिंड बै आत्मज्ञान वै स्वयं प्रकाश वै दट ब्रह्म हैपन टू बी मै सेलफ I need not know myself because I am evident to myself. I never doubt my existence. I can doubt anyone's existence, but I never doubt my own existence. Our, sorry, Atma Gnana Vishaya ha na prakashate. Tasmada Atma Gnani na Vishaya ha Brahma na prakashate. Not illumined because that Brahman happens to be myself. Now the next portion is also very important. Contrast with Jiva uh, that uh, how Nitya Mukta Gnani and Ishvara both are um, shown as a, as a contrast here. So similar. Even I will read this portion. अहम ब्रह्मास्मी मृत्तिपज्ञान से विषयभूत ईश्वर से आत्मा ईश्वर से आत्मा आवरणरहित स्वयं प्रकाशस्व अस्ती तस्मा आवरण भंगो वषय प्रकाशो व न ईश्वर ज्ञान से प्रयोजन यथा जीवन्मुक्त विदुषा आवरणरहित 
विषयीकुर्वती अहम ब्रह्मस्मी अंतकृत्ति आवरण भंगादि प्रयोजन भवती तथा ईश्वर आवरण भंगादि प्रयोजन शून्य मयावृत्तिपम अहम ब्रह्मास्मी ज्ञान विना उपदेशादि साधन उत्पद्य हिश्वर is uh, not uh, having any prayojanam because of that vritti maya vritti it he said about further he is elaborating that evam ishwarasya in the above paragraph jiva aham brahmasmi gnanam how it has come only abharana nivritti there is no need of uh, revelation of brahman Atma prakashanam is not required. Even in this manner, Ishvara Syam also aham Brahma Asmi iti gnana. Maya avritti rupa gnana Syam. How Ishvara has got, uh, Ishvara is um, wise or otherwise? Ishvara is wise. Ishvara is a gnani. Bhagavan is a gnani. Nitya muktaha Bhagavan. Brahma Asmi iti gnana. how this gnanam has come because maya vritte he maya vritte rupa gnanasya maya vritti dwara this gnanam has come to bhagavan it is has not come it is always there vishaya bhutaha ishwarasya atma ishwarasya atma paramatma jeevatma and paramatma paramatma is always know what of i am paramatma ishwarasya atma i am paramatma avarna rahita swayam prakash swarupah asti there is no avarna at any time for ishwar there is only avarna for jeeva there is no avarna to oh, ishwar avarna rahita rahita means without भगवान इज विथट आवरण स्वयं प्रकाश स्वरूप हि ईज सेल्फ ल्यूमिन स्वयं प्रकाश मीन हि ईज ऑफ द नेचर ऑफ सेल्फ ल्यूमिन अस्ति भगवान इज ऑलवेज एक्जिस्टिंग एज विथट एनी कंसीलमेंट तस्मा देर फोर देर फोर आवरण भंग वा removal of concealment or vishaya prakasho va revelation of that vishaya or brahma or atma its revelation na ishwarasya prayojanam there is no necessity there is no benefit for ishwara to have this avarana nivritti or vikshepa nivritti because both are not there for ishwara so therefore how how can you say like that लाइक हि गिवस् एन एक्सापल हूज एक्सापल न ज्ञानी से एक्सापल यथा जीवन मुक्त से जस्ट एज द जीवन मुक्त दे वैज पर्सन जीवन मुक्त मीन दि लिबरेटेड पर्सन वाट द लिबरेटेड पर्सन विदुषा वैज पर्सन आवरण रिता आत्मा आवरण रही आत्मा विषयीकुवती अहम ब्रह्मास्मी the wise person liberated person is one who is free from avarana and who is having that i am brahman gnanam vishayi kurvanti aham brahma asmi iti so liberated person is one who doesn't have veiling power after liberation after gnanam after long shravanam jivan mukta is also free from avarana जीवन मुक्ता इज आलो नोज दट अहम ब्रह्मास्मी अंतकृत्ति आवरण भंग आदि प्रयोजन शून्य भवति सो वन द लिबरेटेड पर्सन हेज गाट नॉलेज आवरण हेज गॉन् विक्षेप हेज गॉन् 
अहम ब्रह्मास्मि ज्ञानम हैज कम ही डजेंट रिक्वायर एनी अदर प्रैक्टिस और महावाक्य फर्दर टीचिंग फ्रॉम हिज टीचर हर हर टीचर मोर फर्दर बिकॉज ऑलरेडी अटेंड नॉलेज देर फोर प्रयोजन शून्य अभव जस्ट एज लिबरेटेड पर्सन डजेंट रिक्वायर एनी गुरु उपदेश या फर्दर आफ्टर लिबरेशन आवरण निवृत्ति गॉन आवरण निवृत्ति वो हैपेंड एंड विक्षेप निवृत्ति आल्सो हैपेंड एंड देर फॉर ही ऑलरेडी नोस आई एम ब्रह्मन देन ही नीड नॉट आर शी नीड नॉट अटेंड द क्लास आर दे नीड नॉट स्टडी शास्त्र फर्दर फॉर द सेक ऑफ मोक्ष for the sake of just academically they want to study they can study but to get moksha they need not study shastra or mahavakya upadesha they don't require just as gnani don't require upadesha after knowledge similarly bhagwan is ever gnani ever mukta therefore bhagwan doesn't require guru upadesha for avarna nivritti or vikshepa nivritti just like a gnani like that tatha eva similarly similarly the same way ishwarasya api for ishwara also avarna bhangadi prayojana shunyam removal of concealment avarna bhanga means removal destruction of concealment veiling avarna bhanga ha आदि पदार्थ विषय विषय प्राप्ति और आत्म प्राप्ति <coughs> साधन सारी आवरण भंग आदि पदार्थ विक्षेप निवृत्ति इज आलो नाट रिक्वयर्ड दट प्रयोजन शून्य देर इज नो एनी प्रयोजन फॉर हिम जस्ट लाइक फॉर ए ज्ञानी After studying how for a gnani there is no necessity of mahavakya upadesha. Similarly, Ishvara is also he is ever mukta ha. He also doesn't require um, ji upadesha, uh, guru mahavakya upadesha. Neither for avarna bhanga nor vikshe panibhuti because just as gnani doesn't have after studying, Bhagwan without studying. He always has got that आवरण निवृत्ति विक्षेप निवृत्ति विक्षेप निवृत्ति वी कैन नाट से आवरण इज नाट देर विक्षेप आलसो इज नाट देर दट्स वे देर इज नो भ्रांति फॉर ईश्वर सपोज ईश्वर आलसो हेज गाट भ्रांति हाउ कैन वी वर्शिप ईश्वर ईश्वर सर्वज्ञ आमनीशियंट आमनी पुटेंट ही डजेंट रिक्वायर एनी गुरु उपदेश देर that is the greatness of ishvara otherwise he also like uh, ordinary human beings therefore ityanta karna vritti avarana bhangaadi prayojana shunya bhavati tatha eva ishvarasya avarana bhangaadi prayojana shunyam maya vritti roopam aham brahma iti gnanam this gnanam aham brahma is asmi iti gnanam par ishvara how it has come not because of antakkarana vritti par ishvara aham brahma asmi gnanam is always there because of maya vritti roopam it is of the nature of maya vritti that antakkaranam for bhagavan is maya just as for us antakkaranam is there भगवान अंतकरण में सुमाया सो फर एज अंतकरण वृत्ति अरेज थॉट अरेज फर भगवान इन माया द थॉट अरेज माया वृत्ति तथा ये ईश्वर से अहम ब्रह्मास्मी ज्ञान विना उपदेशादि साधन उत्पद्य फर भगवान देर इज नो नीड ऑफ एनी साधन वाट साधन गुरु महावाक्य उपदेश एज ए साधन इज नाट रिक्वयर्ड साधन विथट दट विना एव विथट विना मीन विथट 
eva without upadesha only bhagavan utpadyate that knowledge is always there in bhagavan gnanam <coughs> sadhanam utpadyate tari vina eva upadeshaadi sadhanam upadesha sadhanam guru mahavakya is a sadhanam guru upadesha is a sadhanam what upadesham mahavakya upadesham that mahavakya upadesham is a sadhanam that sadhanam is not required it cannot be a means for ishvara unlike uh, uh, jiva jiva <laughs> required uh, guru upadesha in spite of guru it's a uh, jivas are not getting bhagavan without guru without um, upadesha he is ever jnani that is given in the next paragraph itham ramakrishna dinam jiva <coughs> jiva वैशिष्ट्य वैशिष्ट्यसत्वे सिद्ध्यति तथा तथा शरीर मया कार्य अत तत् ब्रह्म किंतु मिथ्या माया कार्यभूत कार्यभूत अवतारपुरुषाण शरीर करचरण्यवय अवयोपेत उत्पादित तस्मा शरीर न नेत्रेन्द्रिय विषयता आपद्य तथा नेत्रेन्द्रिय न ब्रह्म विषयीकोती दिज आर् वेरी वेरी इंपार्टेंट ideas you can get in prakrana granthas as to understand this you require background also of upanishads and all tharo bhagavad gita upanishads then only people can understand itham in this manner in this manner means we are talking about rama and krishna from previous page onwards from two pages we are talking about rama avataram krishna avataram adipadati etc avatarams jeevat vaisishtya satvena it is different from jeeva shariram there is vaisishtya there is some significance superiority from whom from jeevas therefore jeeva vaisishtya satvena people think why to worship god why why he is so great and yes he is great only that rama avataram krishna avataram is superior only how they are superior he said here in this paragraph vaishishtya satve since there is satva means there is vaishishtyam significance whom ishwaratvam sidhyati because of some superiority some significance what are the superiorities in uh, Uh, that no karma punya papa janyam that shariram it is not uh, pancha bhautikam it is not having uh, avatara doesn't have bhranti avarana therefore ishvara is superior sidhyati ishvaratva sidhyati over lordship will happen to bhagavan sidhyati he is accomplished person ishvara तथा मोर ओवर तेषाम शरीर मया कार्य मीनस अवताराण आल अवतारा देर् शरीर सर मया कार्य दे आर् प्रोडक्ट्स ऑफ मया ईश्वर शरीर सर प्रोडक्ट्स ऑफ मया मीनस ईश्वर मीन हियर लॉर्ड विष्णु टेक्स मीनी अवतारा मया कार्य हिज मया हि मेक् यूज ऑफ सो मया कार्य मेड अवट आफ मया अत देर्फोर न तत् ब्रह्म किंतु मिथ्या दिस् टू बी अंडरलाइंड अत देर्फोर सिंस ईश्वर शरीर ईज मयक मया कार्य तत् न ब्रह्म इट इज नाट निर्गुण ब्रह्म 
very important for us. It is not Nirgunam Brahma. Natat Brahma Rupa means not Nirgunam Brahma. Then what it is? Kintu Mithya. It is unreal or unreal. If you say it is Ishwara is Mithya, unreal, it is jarring for many people. Therefore we say lower order of reality or Vyabaharika Satyam. Mithya means what? What is our definition of Mithya? Vyavaharika Satyam Mithya means Vyavaharika Satyam Mithya Maya Karyam Bhuta Avataram Purushanam Shariram Since Purushanam Shariram Avatara Purushanam All those Avataras, those Purushas Their bodies are Maya Karyam made out of Maya Shariram Therefore, they are also having kara, hands, charana, legs, adi avayava. Adi means eyes, ears, nose. All other limbs are also there. Upetam endowed with. Ishvara avatara, avatara shariram also has got like human bodies. Many avatarams are like human bodies. Rama avataram. Krishna avataram, Parashurama avataram, all these avatarams, they have legs, hands, etc. Rupa sahitam cha utpaditam, they are born, they are born in the sense, they appear. How? Rupa sahitam, with rupa. Nirgunam Brahma is formless, but Rama avatara and Krishna avatara, they are all having beautiful, Description is there about Rama and Krishna also we have there we have description of his legs, hands, eyes, shoulders, everything we describe. Rupa Sahitam Cha Utpaditam. They are descended as an avatara with limbs of the body. Tasmat. Therefore, <coughs> therefore means Tesham Shariram. Netra Indriya Vishayatam Apadhyate Therefore their bodies are also having Netra, Eyes, Indriya, All Sense Organs, Antakkaranam Vishayatam Apadhyate Netra Indriya Vishayatam, sorry It becomes an object to our eyes You can see that form with your eyes Netra Indriya Vishayah Rama, Lord Rama is an object for your eyes. Krishna is also an object to your eyes. Mirabai saw Lord Krishna's Rupam. Tyagaraja saw that Lord Rama's Rupam. Bhadrachala Ramadas saw that Rama Rupam. Tukaram saw that Panduranga Rupam. Like that different Bhaktas saw that different deities in different forms. Netra Indriya Vishayam. It is an object for eyes perception. Vishayatam Apadhyate. It can be seen through the eyes. And they come and they appear and they disappear later. Tathapi. But to talk about Brahman, Netra Indriyam na Brahma Vishayi Karoti. But our eyes cannot... Uh, see that Nirgunam Brahma. Therefore, this whole topic is to show the difference between Nirgunam Brahma and Ishvara, the Sagunam Brahma. So, Sagunam Brahma, Ishvara in the form, you can see him through your eyes. Whereas, Nirgunam Brahma, Na Vishayi Karoti Netra Indriya. Your eyes cannot uh, uh, see the form of Brahman because Brahman is formless. Eyes can see only that which has got a form. Netra Indriyam, eye sense are gone. Na Brahma Vishayi Karoti, it cannot reveal that Brahman as an object of knowledge. Therefore, there is one sloka, Vishnur Loko Vikshito Vata Takhim. Yena Svatma 
साक्षात कृतो भूत इफ दैट पर्सन वेंट टू विष्णु लोका वेंट टू ब्रह्म लोका कैलास लोका मेनी लोका दे वेंट बट सो वाट सो वाट वाट इज द यूज ऑफ दैट ततखिम ततखिम दैट स्त्रोत्र शंकराचार्य रोट ये स्वात्मा साक्षात कृतो भूत बै हूम द आत्मा इज नाट directly understood by oneself as one's own nature what is the use of going to vishnu loka brindavana loka kailasa loka and seeing the form of god people give importance to uh, that a person saw one form of the lord this person saw and uh, we think that is the highest but shastra says so what tatakim so what it is the lower nature of brahman maya karyam maya karyam is mithya so rama roopam krishna roopam are also we accept but that darshanam is not ultimate it is maya karyam with compared to oh, this brahma gnanam this is the topic of this whole thing how intelligent tatva drushti is see you are not ordinary student ke vishay karoti now next topic 221 brahma tvagindriyasya na vishayah from now on words he is going to that um, brahman is not uh, an object of any sense perception that he is going to tell that which we saw in upanishads already that he presents here hmm? ब्रह्म त्वगिंद्रियस्य त्वगिंद्रिय मीन स्पर्श इंद्रियस्य न विषय इज नॉट एन ऑब्जेक्ट फॉर स्पर्श इंद्रिय यू कैन नॉट टच द ब्रह्मन या 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 हे कैन टच द ब्रह्मन ही इज द ब्रह्मन ही इज वेरी सॉफ्ट और हार्ड यू कैन नॉट से दैट वे हाउ त्वगिंद्रिय तो स्पर्श तदाश्रय द्रव्यम च विषयी ब्रह्म तो स्पर्श न स्पर्श से आश्रय अतः न ब्रह्मण तगिंद्रिय विषय यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड सिंपल तगिंद्रिय दि सेंस आर् गॉन् ऑफ टच ज्ञान इंद्रिय वन ऑफ द ज्ञान इंद्रिय तगिंद्रिय स्पर्श इंद्रिय तो स्पर्श तदाश्रय द्रव्यम च here sparsha means dharma it is an attribute dharmi is um, dravyam ashraya bhutam vishayam tad ashraya dravyam cha means dharmi dravyam or object the subject and attribute dharmi dharma dharma is an attribute dharmi means a substance so substance and attribute tvagindriyam to whereas tvagindriyam only can sparsham tad ashraya dravyam cha vishayi karoti what this sense are gone of touch reveals what it reveals na vishayi karoti sparsham tad ashraya dravyam sparsham means that object and its attribute that alone it it either it is soft or hard or mediocre that sparsha dwara whether it is hot or cold this sparsha dwara you can understand vishayi karot brahma tu na sparsha roopam na api sparshasya ashraya brahman is not a substance not a dravyam not a dharmi because brahma brahma is nirdharma nirdharma kah brahman doesn't have any dharma dharma means attributes ब्रह्मा डजेंट हैव अस्पर्शम यदेशम अग्राह्यम अगोत्र अवर्ण अचक्षुस्त्रोत्र तदवाणी पाद चक्षु अस्पर्शम दट ईज दट इज नो स्पर्श बिका से आर्गा आर् नाट दे अस्पर्शम सो स्पर्श स्पर्शा द्रव आश्रय सो ब्रह्म in the is not in the form of sparsha roopam is not in the form of touch nor 
in that uh, is not a substance ataha a substance that which has got um, a form then only you can uh, can touch it since brahman doesn't have any substantiality substance as a substance it is not a dravyam therefore there is no dharma ataha therefore brahm na brahmanah to swagindriya vishayatvam therefore brahman doesn't have swagindriya uh, vishayatvam swagindriya vishayatvam means um, object of a sense perception touch perception perception means what and knowledge touch brahman is neither have an attribute in the form of touch non brahman is substance therefore direct knowledge of brahman is not possible that is what tattva drishti want to say direct knowledge of brahman how is it possible direct knowledge is possible only when there is pratyaksha vishayatvam is possible only when there is some shabda sparsha rupa rasa gandha so with regard to brahman it is not possible similarly he is going to explain with regard to other uh, sense organs also like uh, taste all netram already said swagindriyam said now rasanindriyam grana indriyam shrotra indriyam other three indriyams are given in the next topic next page 127 222 topic ब्रह्मन रसन घ्राण श्रोत्राण विषय रसनेन्द्रियण रसज्ञान घ्राणींद्रियण गंधज्ञान श्रोत्रेण शब्द ज्ञान जायते रसगंध शब्द शब्देभ्य विलक्षण ब्रह्म तस्मा न रसन घ्राण श्रोत्र श्रोत्र ब्रह्मण ब्रह्मण ज्ञान जायते अशब्दमस्पर्शमूपम्यय तथारसम निगंधवच्छत परांचिखा व्यतृण स्वयं भू तस्मा परा पश्य नातरात्म इत्यादीना ब्रह्मण इंद्रिय विषय इंद्रिय अविषय बोध्य वेरी वेरी इंपार्टेंट सो ब्रह्मन इज नाट एट्रिब्यूटेड सब्सटेंस देर फॉर डायरेक्ट नॉलेज इज नॉट पॉसिबल देर फॉर वाट देर फॉर लिबरेशन इज नॉट पॉसिबल तत्व दृष्टि कम टू कंक्लूशन गुरु आलो हेज टू गिव आंसर अकॉर्डिंग टू तर्कशास्त्र a substance is called um, substance when it is um, endowed with uh, an attribute according to them attribute less substance doesn't exist at all any substance must have attributes according to tarka shastra vishishta dvaiti also uh, accept this nyaya uh, vaisheshika all of them saguna mukti uh, uh, kshetram is used in brahma sutra uh, it is not real mukti is in this body it is not real it is not possible because there is no substance at all um, without any attribute we say brahman is the substance of this entire universe without attributes we say vedantins but according to tarka vaisheshika nyaya and all of them say there cannot be any substance without attribute where is the question of uh, uh, mukti nirguna brahma gnanam is not possible so brahma na rasana ghrana shrotranam vishaya brahman is not an object of rasanendriyam taste you cannot taste the brahman also not gnana vishaya sorry ghrana vishaya you cannot smell brahman also brahman is so fragrant very nice smell coming from brahman you cannot say shrotrana you cannot hear brahman also hmm? vishaya why rasanendriya rasagnanam 
ಘ್ರಾಣೇಂದ್ರಿಯೇಣ ಗಂಧಜ್ಞಾನ ಶ್ರೋತ್ರೇಣ ಶಬ್ದಜ್ಞಾನ ನ ಜಾಯತೆ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ರಸನ ಇಂದ್ರಿಯೇಣ ರಸಜ್ಞಾನ ಥ್ರೂ ರಸನ ದಿಸ್ ಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ಗಾನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಟೇಸ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಮೆಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸೌಂಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ ಕಮ್ ಥ್ರೂ ರಸನೇಂದ್ರಿಯಂ ರಸಜ್ಞಾನ ಟೇಸ್ಟ್ ನಾಲೆಡ್ಜ್ ಥ್ರೂ ಘ್ರಾಣ ಇಂದ್ರಿಯಂ ಸ್ಮೆಲ್ ನಾಲೆಡ್ಜ್ ಥ್ರೂ ಶಬ್ದ ಇಂದ್ರಿಯ ಶ್ರೋತ್ರ ಇಂದ್ರಿಯಂ ಶಬ್ದ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಸೌಂಡ್ ನಾಲೆಡ್ಜ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ರಸಗಂಧ ಶಬ್ದಭ್ಯ ವಿಲಕ್ಷಣ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನ್ ಈಸ್ ಫ್ರೀ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಶಬ್ದ ಸ್ಪರ್ಶ ರೂಪ ರಸಗಂಧ ವೇರ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಸ್ಯಾಡ್ ಕಟ್ ಓಪನಿಷತ್ ದಟ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಸಿ ಇನ್ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನ್ ಇನ್ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಓಂ ಪೂರ್ಣಮದ ಪೂರ್ಣಮಿದ ಪೂರ್ಣಾತ್ ಪೂರ್ಣಮುದಚ್ಚತೆ ಪೂರ್ಣಸ್ಯ ಪೂರ್ಣಮಾದಾಯ ಪೂರ್ಣಮೇವಾವಶಿಷ್ಯತೆ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಹರಿ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಹರಿ ಓಂ